and wonders the first objective of the outpouring is to bring a harvest to Jesus let me repeat for your learning the first objective of the outpouring the first objective behind the outpouring of the spirit the latter rain is to see to it that many come to the saving knowledge of Jesus there is the healing knowledge there is the prospering knowledge but in order of priority the saving knowledge of Jesus I rather not perform any miracle in my life as a man of God I rather not have the grace for revelation and illumination to teach if all I know is the gospel in its simplicity and I'm able to teach as childlike and as simple as possible if it will, it will translate to a harvest of millions of souls within the time God has given me I would consider myself an extreme success versus performing great signs and wonders prophesying to people profitably so ministering the word dishing out revelation series after series and then at the end of it there is a pile of unsaved people who are learned about spiritual things it is dangerous when someone has not met christ but has met church because there's almost nothing you would tell them they will recite your revelation for you but they have not encountered jesus are we together yeah church can be a culture that you learn like English, like Yoruba, like Hausa. You can learn the culture of church and yet you've not met the King of Kings. You can speak it. How are you welcome to church today? You can speak it. Turn to the book of Revelation chapter 2 and yet you have not encountered Christ. You can learn church like a career. The same way you study mathematics, engineering. You can study church. The greatest and the highest objective of the outpouring is to see that people are translated from the kingdom of darkness. Ladies and gentlemen, and those people include our family members, our unsaved ones, distant or otherwise, that they come into a saving functional knowledge of Jesus. I'm praying that someone seated here who has been crying for power, crying for miracles, I'm praying for you that in the name of Jesus, you will reprioritize your passion, that the passion to see the lost come to Jesus will become the driving force behind your need for power, the driving force behind your need for a large congregation, the driving force behind your need for more money, the driving force behind your need for greater influence. Whatever it is that you seek, if it is not tied to the restoration of men to God, then you are asking amiss. Are we learning? Still painting the picture of what an outpouring looks like. <laughs> what comes with an outpouring? Increase and abundance. This is true. Every genuine outpouring of the spirit does not just affect the spiritual lives and the spiritual health in order of priority souls coming to Jesus, lives transformed, territories transformed, but it always culminates to increase and abundance. All through modern history and even from scripture every time there was an outpouring it started by repentance and brokenness and then the Lord heard them and the Lord healed the land if my people the Bible says which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways listen it says then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins but I will not just stop at forgiveness I will heal their land the healing of the land talks of prosperity that God breathes his life again upon the territory many years ago I watched a video about the revival and the restoration that happened in Fiji Island it was so touching it was such a blessing to me 